Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back for the third and the final portion of today's uh, feature in our program, Action Central Zone Special Edition. Of course, we feature Paako, yung Philippine Academy for Aviation Training. At uh, we have as our special guest, the General Manager, uh, Mr. Raul S. Perez. No? And Mr. Raul, uh, anong capacity natin? In, in, on an annual basis, kung ilan ang pwede natin mabigyan ng training, Mm-hmm. Uh, this is a part. Uh, our facility may we have a capacity to train 2,500 pilots a year, so that's based on, on four simulators. But mm-hmm. right now we only have uh, we have two. We will have two simulators by let's say March. Uh, but the first simulator that we bought uh, is the latest mm-hmm. uh, series 5,000 uh, Airbus 320 simulator, which was manufactured by. Uh, by CAE. So we invested around 10 million there and we'll be bringing in another simulator by March. And we also have an Airbus procedures trainer. This is like a simulator without the visual, without the motion where uh, students can perfect the procedures, uh, various procedures in uh, of flying uh, Airbus. And uh, yeah, the plan is really to have a to to buy eventually two more Airbus uh, equipments. Karina, uh, during the break, may nasabi sa akin si, si Mr. Raul, no? parang daw ho yung training sa kanila, kung marunong ka mag-drive ng ordinary vehicle, ito, yeah. training for formula car racing. Yeah, parang ganun. Mm-hmm. So, uh, it's really to be able to type rate for the Airbus 320 type. Mm-hmm. So, yun ang dahilan ba't tinatawag nila na initial type rating. So, you, you will be able to fly the Airbus 320 family of uh, aircraft after you get your type rating. So, yun ang, this is the goal really is to produce the, the best uh, graduates for, to be, who will be mm-hmm. later on becoming an uh, Airbus 320 pilot. Pero talagang yung Filipino ba mayroong kakayahan sa paglipat, yeah. sa pagiging piloto? Mm-hmm. Sa so, tingin ko, we're, na we, have, uh, no, we have uh, the patience, we have the uh, parang ang, like I think we were discussing earlier, di ba, na mm-hmm. ngayon marami na rin babae na lumilipad kasi oh. yung Airbus 320, madaling ilipad yun. So, mm-hmm. maraming mga nag-aaral in how to fly and right. uh, uh, once they get into the Airbus, I think it's, e- they find it easy to fly because of the way Airbus designed it. And uh, I think the way flying is now, Ang mga babae rin may edge because they're very meticulous mm-hmm. sa mga detal- detalye, detalye, nakakapansin oh. sila. So, I think wala nang diferensya ngayon whether mm-hmm. you're a male or female. Hindi naman kasi, kaya, man- na. kasi oh. manual, no? Oo, oh, hindi na. <laughs> so, automated na lahat kasi mm-hmm. sa Airbus 320. So, it's also important. That's why it's also important again that you master the procedures. And yung equipment nga namin na which we, which we call the Airbus Procedures Trainer, this is where you'll have, uh, you'll be able to master the procedures in flying the Airbus. So, 2,500 pong kanyang sinasabi. Nagsisimula na po sila, mga kaibigan, no? Uh, nagsisimula na po sa Clark. Uh, in fact, nag-inaugurate na po sila noong December 3. December 3, of yeah. 2012, no? At ngayon po, uh, yung ano lang, konti-konti na lang, ano, di ba? Adjustments yeah. and everything. Uh, actually, we're doing training already. Now. Meron na kami mga training, pero we're just mm-hmm. finalizing certain uh, documents. Uh, mm-hmm. Tapos, mag- mag-a-add pa kayo. Yung sinabi mo, mag-a-add yeah, pa ng... Will, uh, yun ang mahal, di ba? Mm. Yung mga flight simulators. Yeah. Uh, yung binili nga nila, 10 million US dollars po, mga kaibigan, no? Yeah. So, uh, may isa na sila ngayon. Uh, by, by year's end ba, maging apat na yan? Ay, hindi. By, <laughs> siguro by, hopefully by <laughs> hinay, hinay. mga 2014. Ah, okay. Kung matuloy ang mga plano namin, mm-hmm. we will have hinay, more. Hinay lang ho, mga kaibigan. Oh. Pero ang kagandahan po, Pero silang mga ka-partners, no? Yeah. Cebu Pacific, and tapos. But uh, that doesn't mean that because they're partnering with Cebu Pacific, eh, hindi na sila pwedeng tumanggap ng mga ibang mga airline pilots, no? Yes. So, again... For uh, certification training then? Uh, yeah, for type rating rin. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. Or even their recurrency training. Oh, yung... Yes. So, we're open to all airlines. Yan, uh, tanggap nyo na yan. Yeah. Tinatanggap nyo na ngayon. Local, all airlines, or local, foreign. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, so yun. At saka, I think, um, well, going to PAT, you'll have, aside from being exposed to using the latest equipment, 
uh, you can be assured that we're using the Airbus standard. All our instructors are Puro Airbus kayo nang oh. maririnig ko eh, no? Oo, oh, we're... Airbus. O yung ano, order ng Airbus na naman, sandaan, yeah. ganyan. In fact, uh, marami atang in-order yung PAL, di ba? Oo, oh, marami. 100. 125 oh. ata yung in-order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so again, yung all our instructors are retired uh, line pilots. Oo oh, nga pala, yes. Importante uh, yan. With all the experience. Why do you say line pilots? Anong ibig sabihin niya? The ibig sabihin nun, mga dati silang lumilipad ng lumilipad din. mga Airbus talaga. Mm. And uh, what's different is, I think only in PAAT, where our pilots are standardized by Airbus. So they just underwent their Airbus standardization last November. So our, our instructors uh, have, are training people based on the Airbus standards. And the, our material we get mm -hmm. from Airbus. And PAT is part of the Airbus uh, CAE, CAE Airbus Training Cooperation Agreement. So, I have a question. Are we here at the age that you can pag take off at saka landing na automatic oh yeah actually pede all the aircraft they can they can take off and land Parin automatically ng shoulders ng mga <laughs> oh pero depende rin dapat rin yung airport mo is configured Mose naman oh is configured to accept uh, to automated accept. Mm -hmm. so nandoon na tayo oh meron so, talagang na ano na lang yan pindot-pindot na lang yung oh. pagmamando ng of Paki, course, pakikita niyo, uh, <laughs> pakikita niyo sa makamera man namin yun. Yeah, oh, yung mga uh, yung simulators niyo, how how it looks. And that simulator, kas para para yung pareho yan kung mm -hmm. ano nasa loob ng ng uh, type of aircraft yes, that you're training exact. for. Yes, dapat uh, exacto yung mm -hmm. simulator don sa actual. In fact, yun ang ginawa ng yun ang ginagawa ng CAAP, which is our mm -hmm. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines. They ensure that uh, the simulator is similar, exactly like the real one. Ah, may nakalimutan ko pala sabihin. The, our simulator, our mm -hmm. brand new simulator, was the very first uh, simulator that was qualified by the Philippine Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines. Uh, because uh, we had a cooperation with CAEP to be able to ano, send an expert in qualifying simulators. And mm -hmm. we shared their expertise to the CAEP, to okay. a team in CAEP. Tapos sila rin ang who came back to qualify our simulator. So, our Philippine uh, authorities, uh, I, I guess, they're more than qualified already to do the simulator qualification. Pero right now, you're, you're already in uh, uh, working closely with other uh, basic training uh, uh, schools, right? Yeah, uh, we're, we're in close communication with Omni Aviation dito sa Clark. Clark, right. Mm -hmm. I think it's uh, one of the, one with the best reputation. Uh, I mean, many, they have a good reputation. Many foreign although, students, right? Yes, and they have a lot of foreign students. Although I know that there are also other flying schools who are, uh, have very good uh, standards. Mm -hmm. so. But I think in Clark, uh, Omni Aviation is one in, that's uh, situated here right. in Clark. Mm -hmm. So it's good to be able to work closely with them, the basic flying schools, para alam natin ano yung mga Direct training lang, na ginagawa nila. Yung tuloy-tuloy yung training, di ba? Yeah. Di matutulog mo na yung utak mo, ganyan. Mm. Pagkatapos, babalik mo na naman yung napag-aralan yeah. mo. Mas maganda yung tuloy-tuloy na para Especially for this type pa. of training, right? Yeah. Pilot training. Mm. But you think this will really progress more uh, eventually? Kasi magaganda yung mga, mga pronouncement natin, di ba? Pero you think mas, uh, mas malawak pa ang patutunghan ng aviation industry? I think for, for us, for locally, I mean, ang Pilipinas kasi, nasa, we're situated in an area na people say will be growing economically yes. for the next uh, 20 years. So, mm -hmm. And also, when you, say, when you see the economy growing, the mm -hmm. incomes are growing, so, the more people have excess income, the more they're willing to travel. Mm -hmm. So, they're saying that the aviation sector will be growing tremendously. In Tremendous, huh? especially and, for Clark. Yeah. Huh? And especially for Clark, I think we had uh, a big growth in passenger arrivals in Clark from May last year. Na. Right, magit sa million. So, Dati if, ibon lang ang lumilipad dyan. Oo nga. Actually, may, na, may mga flying schools nga. Nabanggit nila na medyo nahirapan na rin sila mag-schedule ng landing nila sa Clark kasi it's getting busier. Oh, yung the general airport. type of uh, yeah. aviation, di ba? Yeah, yung mga flying schools. Mm -hmm. Unlike before na they can just land anytime. Pasok lang, pasok, no? Nahirapan na sila kasi busy ng Clark. Mm -hmm. 
So, pero yung mga maganda rin naman siguro na rin sa mga Cebu Pacific pilots, di ba? Mga ibang mga pilots na nakakausap nyo dito sa PAT, right? Yeah. About the, uh, what we have here available. Ah, yeah, in, in Clark. In Clark, right? Yeah, oh, mm -hmm. actually, aside from, yun, from the airport, there's a lot of, uh, I think you have a lot of activities that you mm -hmm. can do in Clark. Yung mga mm -hmm. golf courses, if you're uh, into casinos. Tourism talaga, no? Yeah, tourism. mga tourism related, yeah. That's a difference. So, in between training, oh, so, uh, students can, a good time, no? can relax and enjoy the facilities here in Clark. Plus, the area itself, kahit dito ka lang, parang, mas uh, parang hindi ka masyadong napapagod. Oo, no? oh, kasi maliwalas, right. uh, walang traffic. Mapuno. Oo, oh, mm -hmm. hindi ka maghihintay sa air, mm -hmm. sa runway. Ayan. So, uh, so Raul, no? tell us, uh, you invite more. Ha? Kasi malapit yeah. na naman yan. No? Maraming mm -hmm. graduate sa mga uh, basic training courses. Tapos yung mga bata na ngayon ay nasa high school o nasa college na baka ito ang kanilang pangarap. Yeah. At meron namang kakayahan ang kanilang mga magulang no? mm. para ipaaral sila dito dahil malakas naman yung ano, uh, yeah. ROI, di ba? Mm. Bilis. Yep. So, uh, ikaw na. Sige, you, okay. got, you got a time. Yes, uh, I'd like to invite everyone to uh, take their initial type rating uh, here in uh, Philippine Academy for Aviation Training. It's a brand new facility that we, uh, we built uh, which was inaugurated December 3. Uh, our shareholders are Cebu Pacific and CAE, which is uh, the biggest, which has the biggest global network of uh, training centers, and also the manufacturer of uh, the, the latest flight simulator devices. Our instructors are all uh, Airbus trained and standardized, and who have several years of experience in line flying as former pilots of uh, Airbus as well. And we have the, I think, we're proud to have the latest equipment. Uh, the Series 5000 simulator, and uh, soon we'll have uh, four, uh, hopefully by several years from now, we'll have uh, four simulators in our training center. And um, again, I, I think I mentioned earlier that we PAT is part of the CAE Airbus Training Cooperation Network. So we're able to get all our training materials from mm -hmm. Airbus. And uh, I think lastly, by being in, by studying in PAT, you get to, exp you get exposed to different kinds of uh, pilots, uh, experience, and from other nationalities. So you'll be able not to... Not only Filipinos. Yeah, not only mm -hmm. Filipinos. And uh, again, as I mentioned earlier, we, we cater not only to Cebu Pacific, but more importantly, we want to get other airlines to train in PAAT as well as other nationalities. So. Eventually, hindi lang puro pilots to train you. Yes, and That's part of the long-term plan. In the long-term plan, we're looking at uh, establishing cabin crew training and also uh, aircraft maintenance training or even the ground crew training for, so that we're to ensure that the standards of uh, safety is uh, very high in the Philippine aviation sector. So, okay, so thank you very much, Mr. Raul. No? Si Mr. Raul, ho, Asian General Manager ng PAHAT. No? At uh, ito lang ho, gusto kong idagdag sa nasabi niya. Alam niyo naman ho na talagang... Bullish po ang mga tagagit ng Luzon, especially the people here in Angeles and Pampanga, tungkol po sa aviation. Meron po tayong airport sa Clark. Gusto natin maging premier international airport siya. Pag yun po ay nangyari at nangyayari na po ngayon talaga na talagang in demand po yung ating yung airport sa Clark. No? At uh, nasabi nga kanina ni Mr. Paris here that uh, we are gonna have, uh, we had uh, uh, more than a million passengers noong pong 2012. Dadami pa po yan mga kaibigan. At uh, pag nangyayari ho yan, siyempre, alam niyo naman ngayon, nabanggit din sa discussion natin for the day, that uh, uh, nowadays, ang puro ano na ho, lipad na lang ho, marami ho lumilipad, mga negosyante, mga turista, and the like. No? Kaya kailangan ho, mga kaibigan, pagandaan po natin yan. Kung meron din ho kakayan ang ating anak at meron naman kakayan yung mga magulang, napaaralin po ang kanilang anak, ngayon po, available na po dito sa Clark. Dito pong Philippine, Philippine, uh, tandaan ko niya, Philippine Academy for Aviation Training. Uh, I'll have pala, I, I can give them the number if they're interested. Oh, sige, to call. Sige. So they can call our trunk line, uh, 045, the local for Pampanga, and 499-3500. So 045-499-3500. And our website, which is paat-aviation.com. paat-aviation.com. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Raul. Thank, thank you. you.
You have a nice day now. Ito po yung lingkod. Uh, Sunny Lopez sa inyong programa ang Aksyon Central Luzon Special Edition.